What's up? What's up? So, what's up? So, guys, we are heading to the dealer today. It is getting ready to rain and snow mix, if you can believe that or not. But uh, we're heading out to the dealer to pick up some seed and some uh, starter fur for a job we're doing Monday, which is going to be a uh, slice seeding, over seeding job, and uh, going to break out the new mower on Monday. Ooh, yeah, so it's to be nice in the 50s. Um, this is our last little bit of winter hanging on here. What do you think, man? This is nuts. <laughs> I'm so ready for this crap to be over. Guys, it is 45 out today, right now, and it's 10 in the morning. Um, we're going to be hustling. This is it. This is it. Next Monday, as soon as Monday starts, it's on the season is on for good no more messing around and uh are you ready i am ready been ready i was born ready i'm ready are you ready 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 are you ready yep <laughs> <laughs> all right guys hey let's go to the dealer and i'll see you there here's some of the outdoor digging equipment the asv that was at the uh Oh, GIE this last year. Yanmar. Got some little little diggers there. Little scoopers. There's the big X mark. 1.6 liter common rail diesel. It's kind of fun to have a day just to come out and look at equipment. Man, that's a beast. 96 inch cut right there, guys. And then there's some more Yanmar tractors, the front loaders on them. Not really sure that I'm into Yanmar as far as that goes. But uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? You like the gold rims? I'm not sure I really like this tractor, but hey, let's go on inside. They've changed the rail bars. The ROP system, man, it's a tubular, like a so circular. That's all I can say. Now, not on the bigger models, they haven't. But uh, kind of cool. Kind of cool. Here's your Toro Dingoes. And here is a slice seeder. For those of you who have not seen them, then look at the price. So there's your hopper. There's your dial as to how much seed you want to go down into the ground. It's got a Kohler motor on it. That one is self-propelled. Some of them aren't. But that is a slice seeder. That's a 20-inch. That's what we'll be running on Monday. Here's your dingoes, guys. And the price is absolutely insane. 26 35 now, Obviously, they'll work with you here. There's the mulch queen playing on Facebook. No, no a buddy of mine is a... Uh... A buddy of mine's a teacher, and he's, he's going to be out for 
What's he's, happening? Uh, um, so a buddy of mine that I grew up with, I've known him since I was about five or six. Um, I just got a text from him because he's very uh, he's very good with computers and stuff. And we're talking about uh, setting up a YouTube channel. But uh, he's a uh, he's a teacher, and so his uh, schools that he works for they've uh, they've shut down. So he's gonna be out for work uh, out of work for a couple weeks, if, if not longer. Here is the big one, guys. That is the big monster. Aerator, spreader, cedar, fertilizer. 13,000. And here's the X Mark sprayer, spreader. Pretty cool right there. Here's the stand on aerator from X Mark. Oh, and there's my beautiful, beautiful. This is my next tremor right here, guys. Let's see, where is it? Right there. The 131. But it's probably going to be the... I'm not sure if it's the R or just the 131. One has more torque. And there's the brushes, and I know those are awesome to have, especially if you're doing landscaping work. Here's the BR800X. That is, that's my go-to blower. And, uh, of course, they have Echo here. Show you that. You guys have seen this stuff all before. A lot of you have. Some of you haven't. But uh, there's the new Skag Turf Tiger. Oh, it's kind of cool how they etch that in there. Turf Tiger 2. That's the big one, man. I believe that has the diesel on it, maybe. Nope, fuel injected. Wow, look at that thing. And they still have a cheetah. But the price has went up to 10 5 And that'll be the last cheetahs that they have. There's the Tiger Cat 2. That's the one they were trying to get me to buy, and I didn't want anything to do with it. Just preference, I do not like the Tiger Cat. I do like the seat on them, however. Oh yeah, it's very, very bouncy. Very bouncy. Very bouncy, it's not too, uh, not too narrow. Mulch Queen likes bouncy. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, it's a nice mower, but I don't like the Tiger Cat 2s. So guys, I did just talk to Don, my my dealer, or my salesman. Each one of these numbers on your spreader is a pound per thousand square feet. So if you're doing a cross, if you're going one way and crossing the other way, and you're going to put a three, that would give you six pounds per thousand. So that's pretty neat. And... Uh, Let's see how you do that. Can you hold that? All right. Let's see how you do that. Oh, yeah. You just move it over to the three and then tighten it up. There it is. Fairly, that's fairly simple. And the machine looks fairly simple. I believe this right here is what allows you to start spreading. There's a lock on this here. Okay, you just pull this, and then there's your control to go. So, that's how it works. And that's the popper right there. Turn it on, turn it off. Pretty easy, and uh, cannot wait till Monday, man, to get this bad boy out there and start working with it. Now here is another thing over here, show them this. And I don't know what this is. That's a setting, probably the depth. I would I would say that's your depth. You just do this and then turn it or push it, bring it up to the different depths you want it. 
and then pull it tight. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, let's go uh, get our seed and fertilizer and get ready, and we'll be back. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you how this slice seeder works. It's really cool. It's actually these little tines that just slice into the ground and then the seed drops out. I can't tell where the seed drops out of, but the seed drops out as those tines are cutting and it just lays the seed down. That is pretty cool. And your depth, you can set it down, your depth adjustment is right there on the side. So, now Don is telling me you really only want it to go down about that far. And then that's the hopper there. And this is the exact model we're going to be renting. Okay, so there's... Oh, I see. I see. Open the thing up, Elijah. Yeah, I got that. Just push down on that. And there it is, if you can see yeah. where the little holes... Yep, open and close. Okay, so that's how the slice seeder works. I never knew. I've never used one. So Monday will be a new adventure, and we get to use the new mower on Monday. So uh, stay tuned for that. All right, guys, so we're back at the truck. We got a Buckeye 50, or Tough Turf Blend. It's fescue. Where, where are we at here? What does it say? Fine seed, Kentucky bluegrass. Perennial ryegrass, fine fescue, tall fescue, a sunny mix, shady mix, and uh, that's what we're going to use. Right there it shows you what to set your spreader at, which we're using a uh, slice seeder, so it's going to be different. Uh, tells you how to do a new bed on the back. To take the soil but and there's our fertilizer that's just a starter fertilizer fertilizer from ts pro so what do you think man are we going to try this monday yeah <laughs> it should be interesting <laughs> yeah all right guys so hey everybody be safe out there with all this craziness going on look remember after all is said and done it is just the flu it is not a death sentence if you get it um, many, many, many people are surviving it. Of course, we don't want the elderly or the children to get it. That's the worst part right now. But, uh, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and you like what I'm doing, please do subscribe. And, uh, I got one more thing to show you when we get home. So I'm going to wait to end the video. I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, so we're back at home. I got a new sticker from MSI Lawn Care and Pressure Washing. If you don't know who that is, that's Float Dizzle. And uh, we're going to go ahead and try to put this sticker on. Let's see. Oh, nice. It's got a split in it, so that's awesome. And uh, let me find a good spot for good old float sticker. Let's see, we are running out of room here. Um, let's put it over here. Dustin, can you? MSI Lawn Care and Pressure Washing. Along with Jackson, JYC, you have the right to a beautiful yard. Tecron, Lanier, of course, SK Tools. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real. We'll be back Monday. Tomorrow at 5, I will be live for the Dr. Real Grow Show. And uh, I'm out of here. Peace.